Hi ladies, I am making this video to give you an update on the math curriculum that I'm using. I'm using Becca's math program and I am very pleased with it so far. The program actually reminds me, the book I should say, actually reminds me of when I was in school. Um, this is what the book looks like and my daughter is in the fourth grade and this book is very similar to it just reminds me of being in school and being in the fourth grade again again so I do like that and I'm comparing my my response is largely based on the on how how I felt about my daughter's program in the past couple of years because this is our first year doing homeschool so she's always been in traditional schooling and I just hated the math program Primary, one she never really brought a math book home. she didn't bring a math book home she would almost always have worksheets so I've never even you know, this is actually her first math book, and she even mentioned that when we got the book. She's like, oh, I got my own math book that I get to bring home. She always had to keep it in school. Uh, so that's nice for her, you know, to have her own math book and her to take some ownership over her 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 math. And, um, you know, her learning in that area is, is fun for her. Uh, but again, it reminds me of when I was in school. It, it does do the spiraling spiraling method which I believe is really popular among much many school systems now um, where they don't really when I was in school we would kind of stay on the subject for like a week into pretty much mastery not that everyone mastered it but it would be you know something that we would spend a significant amount of time on to make sure that everyone got a good understanding of it and now I think the trend is to kind of introduce a number of different topics and not to spend too much time on one I get the spirit of why they do that is so that children won't forget stuff and it will be like this constant building of skills and it will just keep hitting them at different points throughout the year so that they don't you know forget a set of skills so I understand the point of it but I just didn't like the way that it was done last year for my daughter it didn't help her it didn't meet her learning style at all the pace was just a little too abrupt and too quick and a Becca's pace, I will say, is a little quick to me too. But the fact that you know we are homeschooling, and I could, you know, we don't finish by the end of my uh, designated time, our homeschool year. That's fine. We'll just do some stuff over the summer. So the fact that I can control it now really impacts her ability to get math. She struggled with math a lot last year, and I, I know it's because of the pace of how the pace and, and how the weight was being introduced to her and like I said Rebecca's pace is um, fairly quick too so what they consider to be one lesson you know we spend like two days on one lesson and I think their intention is that you would spend a day on one lesson but we spend like two days on a lesson so I just want her to be comfortable with the material and that method is working for us and so that's what I'm going to keep doing I'm going to follow her lead and in terms of um, the pace that we take but other than the pace, um, and there's one other thing that I, I just I should mention is that the book is not completely aligned with Common Core standards that's been released. So I did go through and, and found out what standards are not included in, in their curriculum. I think there's like seven or eight Common Core standards that are not included. And I think one reason may be they may have actually already covered it like in the third grade because I believe Rebecca's curriculum is a little bit ahead for lack of a better word I think they they move at a quicker they moved at a quicker pace than school system has so I believe some of the stuff that in the common core and that that's not in my daughter's fourth grade book has already been covered in the previous year and for those things that have not and may be covered you know in the upcoming year they do have a explanation on their website about you know their methodology about how they believe things should be at what point different concepts should be introduced so that also impacts um, the alignment with the common core but it's just like I said a small number of things that are not included in the book that's included in the common core and again if you have any questions about that feel free to shoot me an email and I can let you know if you are using a Becca or are considering using a Becca in the future so outside of the the pace that I you know like I said their lesson for a day is just you know we spend two days that's for us. For you, you may be able to keep up with the lesson at the pace they set, but we need to spend a little bit more time on it. And outside of the Common Core, uh, seven or eight things that are, are included, I have no 
complaints. And those things are not really complaints because I'm just adjusting. But I really love it. Um, this is the parent or the student teacher. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the teacher guy. Um, it's very helpful. It's really ref nice to know that when I'm planning for the week or planning for the next day in terms of actual lessons for different subjects, that math is not one I really am too worried about because I know it's already done for me. Sometimes, depending on what material has been introduced, I may need to kind of do a refresher on making sure that I, I'm on my P's and Q's about how to present this information to her, but um, I'm pretty good with math, so that helps too. And um, it hasn't been, you know, I, I don't have any complaints in terms of um, presenting the information. There's a number of tools and resources and supplemental tools that are that is included in the book. So I like that. If you are into quizzing or doing tests, you, to me, you don't really need to buy the test or the quizzing. I didn't buy it, um, and I don't think you really need to because there's so much information in here. They are each lesson. They also include like they include like five or six. It's actually more than that. It's like maybe a ten to twelve extra optional exercises that you don't have to do so you could always use those for like quizzes or tests or whatever I spent for both of these I think it was like $55 for both of them and it, so that was a nice chunk of change but for me it was well worth it because like I said it's just a peace of mind type of thing that in my day in my week I don't have to really worry about prepping that much for math it's already laid out for me and my daughter is responding well to it and um, I'm trying to, I'm looking at my notes because I took some notes so I wouldn't leave anything out. Uh, it's organized in a really friendly manner and it's easy for me to understand. So I'm comfortable with it. And I, I, I've heard a couple of YouTubers mention that, that that's important. I, I would definitely say that. But needless to say, if you don't understand it, how can you really teach your, teach your child, you know, the material? So. I just wanted to kind of lend my two cents on Becca. Oh, and the other thing is it is a Christian book, so I like that. It has scriptures and things like that. So if you're looking for any type of Christian curriculum, if that's important to you, um, you would probably find some type of value in Becca. So any questions or con uh, Oh, I was going to ask you all a question. That's what I wanted to do. I am having, uh, I'm looking for creative ways to teach my daughter how to make change. Now, of course, I could just, you know, show her how to subtract and in Abeka they suggest having children like if it's the total of tw if you had twenty dollars and the total was ten dollars and thirty five cents just count the change back to twenty in my mind for whatever reason I'm struggling with how to explain that to her I didn't learn that way I still don't make change that way I can do it in my head but of course I can't teach her how to do it in her head and if I had for her, her do it subtraction on paper that's just a long way of doing it so I'm just looking for any, you know, if anybody happens to have any creative, fun ways to help children make change, um, I would love to hear from that. So, again, any um, comments or if you want more information about the Common Core stuff that I mentioned, please just inbox me. Um, otherwise, take care. Bye.